Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the uh, weekly contest, 224, uh, Cat and Mouse 2. So I actually thought this one was a little bit easier than Q3 for me, but uh, but that is not the the general uh, consensus, so I don't know about that. Uh, only 49 people solved it this problem. Um, but for me, and I, there might be other ways to do it, because uh, there are, this is just... To be honest, um, scanning over a few solutions, which we can also do in a little bit. Um, you know, it is just straight up game theory, and that's my solution. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this very hard problem. So, um, so for this one, there are two observations that I made. Um, one is that uh, it doesn't make sense for the mouse to stand still. So that way, it, it eliminates some of the psychos. Uh, I don't know if it's that helpful to be honest but that was one of my initial thoughts and then the second one was that uh, the mouse can I get to within a thousand turns the cat wins but it turns out that it's actually um, not even as bad as that it turns out that there is a case do I have it here? Hmm. Oh, I, I, don't, I lost the case but so it turns out that the worst case is actually not that ba not a thousand. So you can cash it in a much more straightforward way. So if you, let's say you have a mouse next to the cat and you do it one by one. The actually actually the worst case is something like this. Oops. Um. Nope. Basically, sit uh, sit sagging uh, all the way. Oops. Uh, that's pretty much the idea, and basically what I did during the contest, and you can watch me solve it live afterwards. Um, did I tell you to hit the like button yet? I don't remember. Uh, if you didn't, hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join me on Discord and everything. I don't know. Today's a long day. Basically, I don't even know if this is length 8, so maybe I'm off by 1, but that's still the same idea, which is that... Um, so what I did was that I, I got this test case, and then I just counted them out, um, because if we... Uh, you know, we we base the idea off that the mouse will always move. Then the longest um, way that it could get to the end is about like seventy moves, which is about like the distance is about like thirty five or something like that. And then thirty five times two for the cat and the mouse. So actually, in my my code, I have a magic constant that's eighty. And after that, it actually is just straight up uh, game theory. Um, and my code is actually, I want to say, is very clean version of the game theory. Um, and we, we'll go for it together. Um, but this is basically the idea behind it. Um, and I would also say that if you don't, um, if you don't know game theory, um, this is actually a little bit tricky to uh, go over. I would definitely... Uh, um, I would definitely recommend, you know, understanding game theory and how it works. Um, I'm going to go over it for sure a little bit, but probably not as in-depth as, you know, something that, you know, like you need the background a little bit. I don't want to make it sound like this is easy. Anyone can do it. I mean, anyone can do it, but you just have to learn the right things first. Um, and, I, you know, and I don't want to make this like a huge lecture because game theory can get a little bit hairy. So, okay. So then, so, but the intuitive sense is that, okay, I just... I reduce this to dynamic programming, kind of. I have a cache, um, and I keep track of... And my states are kind of weird, but we could, we'll go over it together. So my end result is, okay, can the mouse win if the mouse is, you know, in, in the mouse location, given that the cat is in this location, and the turn number is zero? Um, and I have, like, some pre-processing stuff that puts, you know, the mouse and the cat and the wearables in the right place. Um, and then now here's the mouse win function. This should be very straightforward... Um, in terms of understanding, I hope. Um, the, like I said, the key thing is just cutting it off at turn is greater than 80. Um, and then here, this is just a very relatively straightforward thing of, okay, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm the mouse, I'm going to try this move, right? If I move to a place, you know, I'm trying to figure out with my current location, my current state of the world is a winning state. It is a winning state if I, I'm at, on top of the food, which is the base case. Um, it is a losing state if the turn is, you know, too far in the future, which I said is 80. Um, or, you know, if, if, we, if we are able to get to a, another similar state in which the cat cannot win, then this is a winning state. That's basically the idea. Um, because if I, we, I'm able to go to a move where the cat cannot win, 
then I'm going to take that move because the cat cannot win. And then you can kind of do that recursively. Um, we'll talk about the cat win function. I actually separate them out. Um, not everyone does it this way, but I feel like this is a this makes it way more readable. But uh, but basically, okay, given the mouse win function, I literally look at every direction. And this is just, you know, up, down, left, right. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Actually, this is unnecessary. So maybe I made it even slower. That's because uh, I forgot that I actually go into the other direction anyway. Um but I was thinking that maybe I, I jump into the wrong direction. So actually, this is a little bit even slower. So I could actually reduce this to be faster by doing this. Uh, so that's actually whoopsie daisies. Uh, because directions should already can take care of the directions. So I don't have to do negative jumps in the other direction. But I think while in the contest, I, and it's still passed, so it's still fast enough. Um, but in anyway, so now looking at this new code, um, you know, this is just basically, okay, I have a direction. And I'm going to move mouse jump distance away. Um, if 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 the new space is on the food space, then I return true because that means that I'm one move away from true. Uh, if it goes out of bounds, uh, I break out of the loop because that means that you know I, I jumped out of bounds and I don't need to go you know loop anymore. Um, if this is a wall, then we also break because we cannot jump over a wall. Um, and this is why we have to make sure that we jump in the right order. Um, and then. If th those things are not true, then we will try to jump here. If we jump here and the cat cannot win, then that means that we we're going to jump there because th th the cat cannot win. Um, that's basically the idea. And then we're going to look at the cat one as well. I, I did a little copy and paste so the S thing doesn't make sense here too. For some reason, I thought I, ha I could do a negative jump. But actually, let me change that so that is a little bit cleaner. Uh, but yeah, for now, this is the cat jump code. Uh, the, so we go over each state. Can the cat win? Is this a state in which the cat can win? It, it, the cat can win if we could get to the food first, which is true. Uh, if it is in, in the same space as the mouse, then the cat wins. Um, otherwise, and we, you could do something about turn, but I, 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 I leave it to the mouse, so it's fine. I don't think it matters that much. Uh, but yeah. So the key thing, the other thing is that note that um, we have to move. So I, I actually made this observation before I made the turn. I think now that with the turn, um, you know, it's not that necessary actually. But but I just wanted to make sure that uh, you know, um, you know, it could stay in the same space um, because we want to do that. Where on the where on the mouse, um, it always for me it just made sense that the mouse always had to move and the cat could stay in the same space if it doesn't have to move, meaning that it could just block uh, or something like that. That's why I checked for it here. But otherwise, it's the same thing, which is that the cat. This is a winning state for the cat if it makes a move, and that move means that the mouse does not win. Um, so this is kind of a recursive uh, logic and uh, understanding there, and that's pretty much it. Um, again. You know, uh, we do the cat jump distance thing. Uh, we check that if it's next to, you know, if it's on the food, then the cat wins. If the the new space is where the mouse is, then you also win. You know, you cannot jump over, um, you cannot jump outside, and you cannot jump over walls. Otherwise, you check whether, you know, if the mouse cannot win once you move there, then it is true. Um, also, the mouse cannot win if you just do nothing, then it's also true. Otherwise, this is a false state because that means that just every move you make, uh, the mouse will win. So that's basically the idea. And that's pretty much it with the game theory. Um, and and that ba basically is the recursive function, uh, the dynamic programming function. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, so the complexity, um, I'm going to only do the complexity for the mouse. It should be the same for the for the cat. Um, so what are the number of possible inputs? Well, this is 8, this is 8, this is 8, this is 8, right? So rows times column is equal to 8 times 8, which is 64. Um, and then we have, you know, mouse, mouse rows times column is equal to 64. Cat uh, rows times column is equal to 64. So, so yeah. And then turn, as we kind of have a bound here, it could be only be 80, right? And actually, it's half of that, but uh, but yeah. So then now, the complexity is just, uh, the space complexity anyway, is just this, which is 64 times 64 times 80, which is about 300,000. Uh, I mean, you know, 
Um, yeah, right. Um, so that's going to be fast enough. So that's our complexity um, in terms of space for sure. And and for each one, uh, one of these, we have you know directions. So yeah. So we have four directions times uh, the number of mouse jumps, which is, I think also, I mean, at worst it could be eight, so it could be also 32. Uh, so then the worst case time complexity is just, you know, all this together, which is this times 32, which is equal to, roughly, me plugging into a calculator. Uh, about 10 mil, right? So, yeah. And if you want to think about a complexity, it's just O times R times C uh, times, you know, square because of the both sides uh, times uh, max turn, which is in this case 80-ish. Um, and and t this is the space complexity. And then the time complexity is this times uh, 4, which of course we can rule out, and times... Um, you know, R plus C, because um, because that's how far the mouse jump can be in the worst case. And again, the four drops out, so then this is the final complexity, which is, yeah, so this is the time complexity and this is the space complexity, which uh, I think the, the test cases are a little bit generous, otherwise I don't think this should be passing, uh, especially given the number of test cases that they have. Um, because, uh, so yeah, doing this... Um, I definitely had doubts about this uh, problem as I was solving it because uh, I wasn't sure that this was going to be fast enough because um, it depends on the number of test cases they, they have. Because for each individual test case, I'm, I'm actually confident that they will fa pass. But in the worst case, it might not because, uh, or in the worst one case, it will pass. But in lead code, it's the total amount of time you take for all the test cases. So I was worried about the number of test cases as a result. Um, but otherwise, um, yeah. And I got a wrong answer because I I thought the worst case was actually a spiral, but it turns out that this was a little bit uh, longer, so I should have used 80 instead. Because um, I, I chose, it was a smaller constant because I did a spiral. I counted the spiral and it was like 25 steps or something like that, um, but apparently it wasn't far enough. Um, so yeah, um, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, it's a very tricky game theory problem um, to get the complexity right. So... Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, every second counts for this problem. So yeah, let, watch me solve it during the contest. Next. <sighs> Dumb mistakes. Oh, let's see. Okay, well, only one person got this. So that means that my ranking would probably based on this uh, Q3, which I didn't do very fast. Ooh, late curse. Well done. Um, wow, well, a lot of people did this very quickly. I don't know. Huh. S smart people. And I have two penalties on top. That's not good. Okay, let's focus. Uh, but this is going to be a hard problem if it takes the good people 20 minutes. And Wow, Alex, well done. Okay, focus, Larry. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. So there's a grid. I mean, cheesy answer is just minimax, but I don't think that's right. Well, like not enough. Mm, the only sixty four space, uh, sixty four, sixty four. Mm, those dates. I have to do some kind of crazy min max. Mouse can win. So is this a winning state? So it's, um, that shouldn't be that hard. 
maybe. Let's see. Okay, let's try it. Um, So the sixty-four times sixty-four times two, so eight hundred states. So the state is if States. Oh my God, this is so annoying to write in Python actually. State is so we find an F. is in fx fy cat could be in x y if they move okay let's go to zero. I'm surprised not more people got this, so I think maybe this could be harder than I think. Okay, I don't get it. This is just minimax.
Mm, that's not a good sign. Probably. I think there's an assumption. Mm, maybe we do request something. I don't think this is gonna be. Mm, we'll see if it's fast enough. I'm gonna be upset if it isn't. Uh, The mouse always wants to move, I think. So I think that's the trick.
just want to make sure that we turn something. So just cat doesn't have to move. Where does this X even come from? Wow, how come it's not complaining? I even use X somewhere? In here? That's terrible. There's a cycle of sorts. Hmm. <clears throat> How do I get rid of this cycle? Just from it going back and forth. Hmm. How many people got it? I don't know why I did it with DP. I think I should have done it with uh, the other way. I've done it with a graph search. Maybe. Hmm. 
times a thousand though that's gonna make it big I don't think it's going to be fast enough to, that's the problem. True, true, force, true, force. True, true, force, force, true. True, true, force, force, true. Huh. Why is this? Why do I return true for this? input cat jump is two mouse jump is five jump, jump here right? one with here and then mouse just jumps I don't get wait what did I misunderstand this Oh, they cannot jump over the wall. I think I misread that. Okay, that's not hard. That's gonna be too many states though. Four million, it's gonna time out for sure. You can even try that. If it somehow doesn't time limit, I would have some it, but I don't think there's no way this doesn't time limit. So then now I don't know how. Hmm. This is the game theory way of doing it. Because otherwise they just get stuck on loops. Can I cheat? 
I reduce this by like a hundred. Yeah, it's fast enough. <laughs> Maybe. Because you can't jump over walls. Can you do some kind of funky proof? That maybe like. That's the, the crazy one is the one that loops all the way around. that would that look like oh well, I have half an hour is that a doubt I don't get it it's fine maybe so then uh, uh, people would like messaging me during this time and I don't know how to turn it off on a Mac I'm not gonna lie please stop messaging me okay oh my god even with it off it just keeps going I don't know how to turn this thing off. Can can you turn off messenger? Well, maybe I could just mute. Okay. So what's that? That's two, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty. Six, three, six. Fifty should be good enough, right? Twenty is too weak, but is it fast enough? I don't know. Probably not, but. Worth a shot. Mm, this is false. No, it should be true. Oh, wait, right, no, because of the cat chases after the first jump that's actually a good thing uh thing but uh, let's just do two oh let's give it a try who knows that was a time limit i don't know how it's up but otherwise oh hmm, wrong answer um i think this is similar to, to mine why is this force Nice of them to give me that this test case is though. The answer is one. What does that what does one mean? One means that uh oh. Hmm. So maybe this is the worst case. So this is one, two, three, four, six, seven, fifteen. Uh fifteen plus nine, twenty-four plus Another nine is thirty-three. Oh, it's thirty-three each, so that's seventy, maybe. Hmm. 
now I'm like trying to figure out uh, what was the answer? Expected true. Okay, well, let's give it another go. Maybe too slow still, but okay. Well, I don't know if that's cheating, but uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and ask me questions about this poem or other poems. Uh, have a good year and all that stuff, and I will see you next problem. Bye bye.